Hello all, my name is Krishnag and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be discussing how you should go ahead in writing research papers. So we'll be discussing and guys, whatever I explain, it is based on real world scenarios, what I have actually experienced, what my students has been experienced, what my friends has been experienced. So based on that, I will be providing you guidance, like how you should go ahead and write research papers. And then definitely once you write a research paper, you can submit in IEEE forums and you can basically get it approved. Now research papers are important. <clears throat> what I will be basically discussing will be based on two types of people like first of all college people right who are basically studying who are in the final years who are in the third year who are learning machine learning data science or who are doing their masters with respect to artificial intelligence or data science right and the other type of people will be basically the professionals now professionals also can definitely write research papers I'll be showing I'll be telling you what all research papers you can definitely write now if I just consider college students now college students should make sure that you you when if you are planning to write research paper in data science machine learning or deep learning right so most probably in machine learning deep learning or computer vision i'll say so whenever you are planning to write make sure you know the subject properly why i'm saying you this because if you know about deep learning techniques right uh, and you know in deep learning if you if you are familiar with deep learning techniques if you if i just talk about one topic that is called as back propagation and if i discuss about optimizers like gradient descent optimizer stochastic gradient descent optimizer you know and apart from that you have vanishing uh, gradient uh, uh, I mean decent problem you know so loss uh, the loss will basically be very very minimal in that particular case so these all are different different scenarios and you know the the, the back propagation technique and the normal optimizer initially the first optimizer was something called as gradient descent now what the students what the researchers or what the students who are studying in their masters because most of them have basically written the research paper based on this particular topics in their college like when they were doing their masters they were trying to improve that what uh, what was the technique that they had actually derived previously they were trying to make some improvement on top of that they just tried to so see the problem like what problem was there in the previous algorithm and they what they did is that they slightly modified or fine-tuned that algorithm and you know they were able to do a better more work so by using those techniques they were able to get state-of-art algorithm now what is state-of-art algorithm because you may have heard this particular term a lot now state-of-art algorithm basically means guys if you're using any machine learning technique or if you're using a uh, um, any deep learning technique for a specific use case right then whatever the data is like once you train your model with that particular data it will be giving a very very good results you know now let it be a deep learning technique or machine learning technique so there are a lot of things that needs to be done and nowadays you know companies many startups are coming up who are able to get the state of art algorithms and you know they are able to do a very good work with respect to that they have started the startups very good good startups are there throughout in india outside india and many more places itself now this is with respect to college students guys make sure you know everything in machine learning try to learn it but since you are in the college students you, you you are in a college days right you need to learn a lot you need to understand what is the maths behind it what how the algorithm works let it be machine learning or deep learning See guys, if you go and see my deep learning playlist, uh, you'll be seeing that how much maths I have discussed in that. So that is very important. If you know those techniques, you can come something up with something new. You can fine tune that particular algorithm in some different way. And by that, you'll be able to get that state of art algorithm uh, that is basically required in real world problem scenarios. Now this is for the students uh, they have to be very very good at all the topics of machine learning which has been already derived to, uh, by reading different different research papers by different reading different different uh, deep learning techniques i always used to think uh, writing research paper would be boring right I, I used to think in that particular way but guys trust me writing research paper is very very beneficial i did not have the habit of writing anything but when i wrote my first book right i had to write somewhere i i, I took that particular book as a challenge you know and i completed it within six months of time so i was able to write it properly and if you don't know guys my book has been sold more than thousand copies has been sold in just three to four months that's a great achievement what i think um and people have trusted me all the feedbacks are very very good in that so once i was able to write the book now i have plans also to write a research paper now this research paper will be something different when i compare it with respect to the book or or uh, I, and I, i'm saying that when i'm writing the research paper i'll just not be writing as a college student i'll be writing as a professional now for the professional people what kind of work will be suited for research paper i'll just discuss in a while so 
just now I just told about students, uh, people who are freshers, who are students, who are still learning, who are in the third year and fourth year uh, or their final year, right? So they should focus on all the machine learning concepts, deep learning concepts. And by seeing, by doing that, by participating in different, different competitions like Hackathon, Kaggle, right? Suppose you are trying to solve any domain use case problem, right? And by, you, by, by, by solving that problem, you have come to a, a conclusion that you have developed a very good model, which is able to give a very good predictions for any kind of data right and that may be because of fine tuning uh, that may be because of hyperparameter fine tuning itself right and apart from that if you think that okay this algorithm can be changed slightly and a better version of that algorithm can be created you should go ahead with that and definitely guys this will only be possible it is just not very easy it will only be possible when you know all the techniques right now if 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 i just talk about feature engineering process right now guys it is not specific that you always have to write a research paper on one algorithm itself right it can be on anything like if i take a consider an example of feature engineering right now in feature engineering if you find out a better way to handle category features which is the best of all the feature engineering techniques that you already have you can basically write a very good uh, thesis or research paper on that and you can also publish it in blog you can also give it to ieee uh, and once they see that once they see the improvement in that they can definitely um, you know uh, approve that and well that is a very great thing to have in your resume right now i'll just talk about the professional people now professional people are those people who will be working in different different domains and use cases right so here you don't consider that i'm just talking about data scientists who are already working in companies i'm talking about any people who are working in any kind of domain and they want to make a transition towards data science again they also have to learn machine learning deep learning techniques properly because then only they'll be able to apply their whole uh, use case with respect to machine learning or deep learning techniques right with the help of those so uh, for the domain expertise people, I think, um, you know, you can't just behave like a students where, yes, you can definitely, you can read all the concepts and then try to come up with different, different algorithms or try to find out a hypertuning, right? But one thing that I think professional people should definitely focus on, see, uh, if I talk about data scientists, if you're working for some domain use case, right? At that time, you prove yourself that you have got a very good state of art algorithms. And in many companies, people come up with that, right? And in order to come to that particular algorithms, right? Uh, I mean, that particular changes what you can do is that you can basically uh, guide us uh, guide guide through the ways or through the steps that you have basically done to come to that particular state of art algorithm right so uh, most of the professional people like they use the model they use the algorithm that is already there but on top of that they do one very good thing that is called as hyperparameter training and they are very very much expert into that you know and once they are able to do that you just seen Kaggle competition hackathon because of that hyperparameter tuning right they're able to come up with very 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 good state of art algorithm so this is the machine learning algorithm this is the data if i try to integrate both of them and if i try to just do a simple hyperparameter tuning they are able to get wonderful results and definitely professional people can write those kind of research papers uh, can submit they are also people who will be uh, creating patents for that whenever they are working for some companies because company only sponsor uh, the patent part and uh, definitely they do that and most of the states uh, you know state of art algorithms has been developed by companies who are exposing in the form of api and they're able to do a great, great job you know and great deal of work in short and most of the startups are currently working into this only they are they're creating wonderful application um, where they are they are able to get very very good accuracy you know and uh, from this past two years i've seen so many face recognition apps you know i mean not apps i'll say but apis that have been exposed by many startups and whenever i compare with many startups they have a very very good accuracy again there are a lot of different different differences uh, but definitely they the accuracy is very very high so I, I just think like what kind of hyperparameter tuning they have basically done and they they definitely will not just give you like how they have developed that but if you are working independently if you are working as a professional if you want to give back to the data science community definitely research paper is one of the way and uh, definitely again guys it is not possible I'm, I'm not saying that it is never possible to write research paper research papers you should be able to write now why i'm talking about this is that last year in one of the finance project that i was doing with the help of machine learning and deep learning i i came up with a very very good solution to basically create a state of art algorithm and uh, you know and uh, i was able to get a very very good accuracy and similar kind of work i was actually uh, searching for like how i'll be able to do a lot of things and definitely i also have a plan plan to you know uh, write a research paper and definitely um, you know already i have written a book so i i know how a research paper can be written 
uh, and how interactive how 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 good i can basically make it when i have all everything every every architecture of that particular work in my mind so yes uh, just wait for some time definitely i'll come up with that i'll be submitting in i triple e and definitely you also go ahead guys it's just about ideas it's just about what you want to do what ex- additional thing that you want to do on that particular algorithm which has been already developed always remember in deep learning you have various optimizers right gradient descent stochastic gradient descent ada grad adaptive gradient descent right rms prop adam prop so uh, sorry adam optimizer so these all optimizers are basically a better version than the previous one and they're solving some specific problems so similarly you should come up with that and for coming up with that you should have a very good skills in all these particular techniques so yes uh, for the professional people they should focus on use case based uh, research papers uh, because i have re- read research papers with various use cases there is use cases with respect to remote satellite uh, images uh, there is a, a research paper with respect to agriculture domain and many more things you know one of the research paper with respect to agriculture was uh, the tea growing capacity in various districts in india so that was a wonderful research paper that i had read recently and a lot of techniques that they have basically applied was awesome in that so yes this was all about this particular videos guys i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all